everyone. Well, as promised, let's get on with the um, bamboo subject, which has been asked for, uh, oh, it was asked for quite a while ago. Um, so, as I showed you in the last video, here I have got a rather large bowl, and I have very roughly sketched on my random bamboo, uh, not a botanical study. I always need to say that because it's basically just out of my head. Um, so if the, the um, leaves are coming out from a strange place, I suppose I should check that, shouldn't I? Uh, but I think they come out from the little joins anyway. And uh, that should be great fun. This is a sort of a shallow bowl, it's not really a plate, it's, it's a bowl. And uh, I've used a, a permanent marker and I actually thought I'd uh, drawn on the top but I've actually drawn on the underside which is a bit silly because I'm going to engrave the underside and it would have been much easier for me if I had drawn it on the top. If I really feel like it I can trace it quickly over the top and then and then I am free to just engrave on the bottom and it's not going to come off with the water. But as it stands, what I'll do is just a, um, a quick run around with my um, a stone of some sort. And um, as you can see, I've just got some random extra leaves on the base right at the bottom um, just for a bit of fun. You almost feel that somewhere in there should be some life, um, whatever little uh, animal or creature might uh, live within bamboo, but I don't know, I might look into that and see what does uh, feature on bamboos, but otherwise it is more of a, a pattern, you know, looking from a distance, just a busy pattern, and hopefully quite an attractive one. Um, I will be engraving underneath as I say and this is because it looks better through the glass and I can get some real depth this is quite thick you can see it's quite thick and that's starting off thin and it gets thicker and thicker uh, it is not crystal it's crystal light and um, also by engraving underneath you it means that you can utilize this uh, if you put cake or something on top the cake is not going to go into the engraving my goodness what a nightmare that would be uh, <laughs> I shudder I'd prefer it just to be a decorative piece in the middle of a table but you know people will put something in it um, anyway uh, there you go right this is now day whatever of the second lockdown um, and um, it's a case of trundling along to work. I'm, the, the door is locked. Uh, if people want to order, they're ordering from me. I've just had an order this morning. And it's really rather nice. It's nice to hear a person's voice over the phone as well. <laughs> you know, when you th sort of think lockdown's the end. It's not really. Um, you could just keep going on. And uh, yeah, I look forward to doing that. I still post, I post all over the world still, and um, in fact I've, I've just sold a little green man, our little green man, the one I did, silly me, <laughs> of course you would know, <laughs> anyway that whiskey glass has just sold to a lady in America, so that's going to be posted um, ASAP, it's the weekend now, so it'll be Monday morning, and uh, that's rather nice. I think so anyway really exciting exciting despite the fact that it's depressing times just being positive and happy and put a smile on your dial and uh, uh, do whatever blows your hair back to keep you happy and be grateful grateful for anything you've got uh, now I sound like I'm preaching I don't really mean to do that <laughs> I'm going to turn the music off, up, up, not off, up, uh, while I'm working, and then I will, uh, actually I don't normally work to music because I can't, I can't turn it up because uh, you need a, a very expensive license for that, even though it's upstairs here, as soon as someone walks in, 
downstairs, if they can hear the music, I've got to be paying for it. So I just don't have any at all. But now I'm closed, so I can turn the music up. And then I'll give you a, a voiceover, as usual, uh, afterwards. Right, so let us begin. See you later. Right, first of all, I want to apologise for the very strange voice uh, from the previous uh, clips because I had actually forgotten to put my mic on. <laughs> and so it was just the camera mic. Never mind. Um, right, here I have a little green stone which I am uh, very, very basically running over the uh, drawing. I'm not pressing very hard. And I'm not going this fast either. I have speeded it up, sped it up <laughs> quite considerably. And uh, yeah, wouldn't it be so nice if we could work this fast? Anyway, so not pressing too deep because otherwise you might um, might upset the glass a little bit because um, sometimes it does with a stone. But anyway. That's all you need is just the light run over so that you can see the markings when you take the white material away or the white paper or whatever you put behind. And um, I hadn't done the base yet, so I am now going to quickly run over the base. As you can see, just dry uh, anyway. Uh, otherwise, the uh, ink would come off. I don't uh, follow every single line perfectly. Um, it's it's just random, really. And if I decide there's a bit more of a space where I don't want a space, I'll just add something, and that doesn't matter. It's totally random, just freedom. Right, you can see it's quite effective looking through the glass like that. I just think it's a really pretty pattern. Bamboo is such a lovely subject. So I have got uh, water dripping and a round large-ish um, diamond burr. And I'm giving it a, a slightly uh, amended outline. Obviously my stone ones were very, very rough. And if you've got a reference picture, just have a look at it and make sure that you've got roughly the, the right shape. Um, of these stems, stalks, I don't know what you would call them. <laughs> I suppose bamboo is a kind of grass, isn't it? Um, I'm just guessing. Just ignore me. Uh, but it, it sort of, it goes out slightly at the joins and then comes in a little bit and then blobs out a little bit. There are many ways of doing this. Um, this, at the moment, uh, the first part of this bowl is for uh, tier two and upwards um, on my Patreon teaching channel. And therefore, I'm going to complete a section um, so that you can get the hang of the basic bamboo. You can go much deeper. You can go shallow. Um, I will do a bit of both. At the moment, I'm going relatively shallow. I am marking it out. I'm breaking the surface of the glass and now I'm, I've am i got myself a really big, fat, diamond-coated burr. I've got it on its side, so because of the shape of it, it's not really going over the edge, even though it looks like it's going to, because it's a sort of a, a flame shape and, and therefore I'm using the fattest part on the side and I'm, I'm going a little bit deeper and I'm also kind of smoothing out uh, a little bit and um, just giving it a little bit of a bulge. A bulge, obviously not from this side, it's going deeper, but from the top surface it will be a slight bulge, which is quite effective. You can go really deep if you want. 
I'm looking at the rest of this bowl and thinking, my goodness, there's a lot of work ahead. <laughs> and I get very impatient. And listen to this. This is loud. I must tell you, I actually turned it down considerably on this recording because it is deafening. And so often that's the case, especially on a large bowl when you're using a large burr. And not so much where it's thicker, but as you get to the edge. So I have got here some very old, very tatty ear plugs, which quite frankly, I really need to replace. And just shove those in your ears because it is not healthy. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> you'd you'd be deaf at the end of it. So that's much, much better. I've actually gone back to the smaller burr now, as you can see, um, and just getting on with the same. Now those, um, actually, the that uh, the earplug setup, I can actually pull the little rubber things off, I'm pretty sure. I have done it before and just give them a wash separately and then stick them back on. I haven't actually used them for a long time. Uh, obviously hasn't haven't really worked with an enormous bowl like this. But it's as I say, it's often when you get near the edge or near the top of a large vase and with a large diamond burr, it gets louder and louder until it is impossible to work without earplugs. So you really, need, really do need to get yourself some. Right, keeping the edges relatively neat. And I am actually now adding a little uh, area in between the joins. Now, if you look at the bamboo, there's a, a little white area. Um, so just fill it in as you see it. And quite frankly, I'm not taking these right to the edge as yet because it's a little bit awkward. You can't really notice, but it is very awkward. Um, trying to show the camera and also um, place the bowl in a way that I can get to the edge comfortably because at the moment it's sitting right on my rubber ledge. So I will do that later, but I will take it right to the end. That's that'll be easy enough. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm doing long, straight ish strokes. And I'm going slightly deeper on these, just slightly so that there is a slight texture and not that I want the texture but I want to be able to pick up an easy um, bit of shadow because if you look at the bamboo it's slightly stripy and so I'm going to be able to just run a rubber over the top and the rubber will pick up the ridges and create the stripy effect. So it's only slightly deeper you don't want it to look like it's got massive ridges in it. I love the way my bamboo is slightly bent. Random. <laughs> Obviously this bamboo grows in a place where there's a lot of wind. Anyway. Plus it's this, the shape of the bowl as well. It doesn't matter. I'm, sl I'm going slightly deeper where the fatter part of the bam bamboo um, meets the join. Um, so the join bit is, is slightly shallower. And just ran, I just ran the diamond very lightly over the top. So I'm, I'm changing my, my um, pressure quite a lot. When I run over the top, I just don't want to have any white areas. So, um, there we go. Just a quick little very light run over the top and the rubber will pick that up so that will make that area dark again but it's just that I don't want to have any clear glass slightly deeper on the edges 
few little extra lines. There is quite a lot of dust being created, but um, wet dust, because obviously I'm using a lot of water. Always dry with a nice clean, um, something like a kitchen towel is uh, perfectly all right. Right, I've disappeared. I must be having a cup of tea. <laughs> right, I have got here my soft grey rubber, which is one of my favourites, as you know. But use any other rubber you have got. And I'm just going to run over the top, um, not pressing too heavily because I'll use a rubber disc later on. But for the moment, just running over the top and it will pick up the ridges. But with a slightly softer shade, it's sort of a, a half tone shade. Because it's a slightly softer rubber, it will go a little bit deeper than the harder rubber that I will use later on. You can see already we've got some nice shading going on. The slightly stripy effect. It does tend to be sort of darker at the end of these sections. And the join is a sort of a lighter color. There are lots of different types of bamboo, but um, whatever you're copying, just sort of, well, you don't even have to copy. <laughs> As I say, a lot of this is just out of my head. It's so funny because I just saw this bowl. I've had it there for a long, long time. And, you know, you just wait for, for an idea. And... I had imagined doing the bamboo for you guys on a tall vase or something like that, which would be ever so typical and quite boring, quite frankly. And, um, and I looked at this bowl and I thought, oh, you know what, let's just go for it. And I was in the middle of something else and I just picked up the bowl, picked up a black pen and just scribbled. And there you go. <laughs> that's just, I think that's just an arty thing. You just wait for that little bit of spark to <laughs> appear in your brain and then there's no holding back you got to do it you just got to do it I think it's going to be really nice in the end the overall effect so we've done quite a bit of shading with the the gray rubber and now I have got a black rubber disc, which is a bit harder. Any harder disc anyway. I like a disc because it's got a, a wider area and it is only going to pick up the ridges. Anything sticking up. So in other words, anything shallower. <laughs> so confusing, isn't it? And I'm just making some nice darker stripes, throwing in some darker stripes in between the the medium shade stripes perhaps one could i mean i haven't really looked up what lives in a bamboo because i i would like to put some life in it um and i was thinking of animals but in actual fact maybe some sort of bird and the fact that, you know, you're adding it later doesn't matter because you would just engrave through through this um, deeper than what you've already engraved. Uh, but it's probably better if you are going to add a bird or a creature, scribble it in um, first. And so that when you do get to the bamboo part, um, engraving deeper, then you, you don't quite engrave that deep um, and just prepare to add your little creature. Gosh, you could almost even add a snake. I wonder if there's snakes that live in bamboos. 
Right, what have I got? Ah, right, I have got what's called the Little Darling, and it is a flat-topped, um, very tiny wheel. And here I'm giving you another option. If you haven't got that, you can use a rat's tail, making sure it's nice, sharp on the edge. And I'm tapping my fingers. Why? I must be thinking about something. Nope. <laughs> I'm showing you another option. This is a cone-shaped um, diamond burr, so it's also flat on the top, uh, wider uh, on the edge, but without being thicker. So what I'm going to do is just the middle join um, has got a, a sort of a, I don't even know how you describe it. It's like a little skirt going on, almost like you see in a mushroom. Um, bearing in mind, I am presently engraving these upside down, okay? So, um, it, it sort of goes along. I've gone relatively deep. I need to get my hand out the way so you can see. Um, along that part of the white, sort of at one end of it. And there will be almost like a little hanky shape coming up, um, Maybe I, sh I should look up the, the actual botanical references, but you know me. <laughs> There's my little hanky shape coming up. It's like, I don't know what it is. But it does finish it off. And you see it quite nicely from the other side, of course. These are nice little burrs, the little darling. It... Um, they're very good for uh, doing relief engraving, cameo engraving, carving through colors, that sort of thing, where you want a nice sharp edge and you've got to go relatively deep. Right, so now I have um, a ball diamond burr and I'm starting on the leaves. The leaves have a random elongated uh, variegated look to them um, so basically a long stripy stripy effect similar to the stems stems stalks whatever um, so you're just running it from one end to the other trying to keep it neat but much much later on I will be neatening the very edges and points of these leaves, but that's pretty, pretty simple. Now, I'm not, I'm not necessarily going very deep because um, these are leaves, they are not sausages, so what you're seeing is a shallowy stripy effect that um, all joins up but when we like the stems when we rub uh, run the rubber over the top it will give the um, the effect of stripes because that is how the leaves are formed but as I say you don't need to make these big thick deep leaves because that would be wrong they're only thin. It's the same as when we're doing uh, butterfly, butterfly wings or dragonfly wings. They're only very, very fine, so you don't want to go deep. Otherwise, they look like they're made out of plasticine. By flicking up at the end, of course, you can get a nice little sharp point, even with a burr that is as fat as this. I've done, um, <laughs> I did draw these leaves quite rapidly with the stone and so a lot of them as I'm doing this I, I'm sort of thinking to myself oh, I'm not sure that's quite the right shape but basically you've got to go with what you've drawn um, because you know you've made the mark with the stone so you've got, you've got to go for it um, but otherwise adjust them um, 
as you go along if you feel like if you feel like it pretty simple so simple but so effective Right, here I have a little diamond, and as you can see, I've actually done quite a lot of work already, um, and I had actually run out of film. Film being the old-fashioned word, I'd run out of um, space on my little SD card, and so what I'm doing here is I have, um, I'm just creating some more for you. Um, I've got a, as I say, a small diamond, and... I'm I'm actually struggling to to get for you to s see what I'm doing for some reason um, while holding the the water. So I've just let the water drip. Um, I'm going over the uh, little straight lines, the little tiny um, twigs um, or whatever they are that that the leaves are on and that grow randomly out the side. They seem to do their own thing, and I think they add quite a nice little effect uh, to the, the bamboo. Um, we could just throw them in randomly. It's almost like the, um, the grapevines where you can just fill in the spaces with little random twiddly bits. I love that. So these are, are sort of um, little stalks. And as I say, you can use, you can use a rat's tail if you want or... Um, uh, well, whatever, even even the little um, little darling that we were using earlier on, you can use that if you like. But I've just gone for a, just a small ball burr. Right, back to my little rubber. So because you missed out on the rubber on the leaves, which when I ran out of film, I'm just throwing in um, some shading for you on these extra leaves. Clearly this leaf I'm working on now uh, needs to have that tip sharpened. Um, it looks a bit lumpy, so I will actually be doing that later, later on when I go over all the leaves. Just making sure they've got nice sharp points. But this burr is just giving a nice little uh, random shadow, uh, top and bottom, sides. You make it up as you go along. There could be a bit of sunshine coming through, mottling the, the shadow on, on the leaves. Uh, it's, it's just totally random and it doesn't matter, but it's nice to have a bit of um, variation of shade on these leaves. And as you see, the rubber will pick up the stripey effect as well, automatically. So just in one easy move, you get all your shades. And here's my um, hard rubber again, just to give that extra, the extra darkness, the extra dark lines. Just flicking up. So don't do 
you know one hard line just flick it up very effective and so easy and I say because it's hard it will pick up the ridges very very simply and not go into the deeper areas they stay nice and white to the bamboo stalks if you see anything I mean when I finish this entire bowl I will slowly be going around the whole thing and and picking up little bits that I feel need some attention I'm quite excited about this bowl it is a nice feeling It's not crystal and yet look how it's glowing it's really really nice this is a I think it's a Crosno it's the make Crosno um, it's a glass it's a modern glass but it's really bright you can see the ridges coming through really pretty I look forward to completing this bowl Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Have a go at some bamboo. See you next time. Bye bye.